Be with the Nebraska AIDS Project. Uh, this uh, content warning, self-harm, um, this poem is named My Beautiful Feet. My favorite sensation is getting those rough fleece blankets and rubbing the top of my feet against them. It's been that childhood feeling of cuddling and napping with the mother who'd kiss my little soft feet when she'd exercise them. And we'd always sleep in the little cheap blankets from grandpa's house. Now, when I rub my feet against the rough carpet on my floor when I study, I feel pain. My mother is such a nice woman. She's very old fashioned too, but she still loves her views. She likes to massage and tend to others. So whenever I stop by to say hi, we sit for a while and somehow my feet end up in her lap and she's fiercely tugging at them. She'd compliment them and say that my little button toes have never changed. She'd say that they're soft and so beautiful, though my gnarly toenails would still somehow manage to scratch at her palms. Why she thought they were beautiful was beyond me. After a day of playing in the streets in my neighbor's mud piles, her and I will sit on the edge of the bath together, and she'd make sure my little tootsies were free of dirt and tenderly care for the cuts on them, giving them loving smooches and love. Now, when she grabs them, she can't look at them or look me in the eye, and I stare desperately, begging her to look at me so she can see the apologetic look on my face We've had the discussion for what seems like a thousand times. I didn't mean to hurt myself. I really didn't. It, I was so lost in the moment and it felt so right. It wasn't until after that 12th blistering mark I placed upon my feet what the hell I was doing to myself. A scary night of lack, control, and demeaning hours, just like many nights I've had in the past, but the results were supposed to be hidden this time, and yet they were the most visible to the point that anyone could look at them and just know the brief summary of the story behind them just like she could. Her fingers lightly dance over my scarred feet. She's gentler than she has ever been with my feet before. I stare at her slow movements and watch her trembling fingers brush over a scar, and then I watch her flinch. I grow angry at myself. I know it sounds stupid, but not only did I hurt myself, but I hurt my mother too. She doesn't own me, but the nine months and 18 years we spent together were clear enough that my heart was hers and hers was mine. I love my little soft feet, and so do I love my mother. I felt like they were kind of a good quality of me, and now they were scarred to the point where it would be impossible to make my feet look like the little soft things they used to be. A tear drips onto my foot from my mom. She says through a cracked voice, baby girl, I love you so don't get mad at me for this, but your feet are still soft and beautiful to me. Woo!